I kind of feel like if Slaughter gets a blink dagger, they gotta go fight. Fight, 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 fight. They, they, they have to fight. Like, a lot, because Bloodlusted Juggernaut, Bloodless actually. Wait a second, hold that thought. Here we go, yep, the Here five minutes go. they put a ward down. Oh, oh no, the Epsor! They are in a lot of trouble, he's gonna be the only one to die though. It could have been worse if the rest showed up as well and tried to actually go for a full final engagement. But Yoga Magi Batrider. I say that. Yoga Magi Batrider, yeah, that makes sense. Is that a... That's an Orb of Venom Batrider. It is. Okay, that's cool. He got something against it. Well, Cinder is in trouble. He has already got four stats. He's dead. He's dead. Very dead. Crash will still hit, but that's not oh, oh, please! He got the heal and he gets the kill as well. Cinder with the double gauntlet outplay. Nobody expected oh. Dazzle to have two gauntlets. Look at this. That actually saved his life. That saved his life so bad. Puppy is still uh, running away from here. I hear. He's going to be able to make it out. The are coming out as well. That's a kill going away. Oh, quick, but now forever is back in the Cindern boy. That was I, I was like, uh, he's so tanky. Why is he taking like so little damage from these right clicks? But he actually just had a lot of health. So that was uh, that was interesting. Uh, with the centaur coming out to play as well from the Chen, it might just be a lane that MP is gonna Radiant's struggle with a bit. Radiant's courier gets killed by Puppy. He kills it. Almost level six can jump forward if he gets a lucky crit. He can be he can be just fine. We meet them with a level 6 available on the Juggernaut. Do you think they can kill Kezu? There is a mango available. Should be hard. If he gets a sun strike, oh, he knows. Oh, so. bottom lane. Actually, puppy. And he's also not really able to get that much on this safe lane. He wants to, of course, get his blink dagger because we were talking about earlier. He should be the one to get the tempo control. As Sinarin is the one that gets gone upon Era, looking for that crush on Forest. Forest really, really nicely. Weaving in and out of uh, range of error there and just annoying him for the moment as Sindarin will uh, grave himself and will top live in the meantime. for the moment in the meantime. Indeed, on top lane, it is Yapsor that's in trouble because he tries Double to get crit. a kill on MP, but the crit it gets it. Oh, and they're going to clean the creeps up too. All the sun with the net! Boom! That's really nicely done, and that's something that, as you mentioned, he's actually pretty much caught off. Like, pretty decently, yeah. Tied up with yeah. the Juggernaut now, and he's gonna have his Midas hit a good time. Like, pretty good timing. So, oh, careful. Crush, Another sunstrike strike. coming out. Nicely done, Batrider. And I like the confidence of Farrah. Still thought about. Damn it. <clears throat> Dyer's top tower is under attack. Era. Does he really want to have Grand Boots and a Blink Dagger, you think? Is that what he's going for? Looks like he is. Forest Tax. Okay with that. Nice Play knockback, break, knock. gets the yeah. fifth stack, and the damage is gonna kill him. Oh my god, that's crazy. Level 3 break is bad. Level 3, yeah, it does, it does an insane amount. Secret doesn't have the best power kill lineup, so they should be holding on, be able to hold on to their jungle for quite a while. Wait a second, that's a roar that is on the juggernaut. The crush comes out as well, as the ever find a sun strike, it's enough, and Koifa again, Koifa is dominating, and he hasn't even left the lane. I guess you could call the Moon Meander build in a way. He does, he's got the drum, and then he's going for the Aether Lens. Actually, I think it was Wings that did it first, and then Moon maybe copied it, or Bone 7 that did it first, actually, but. That was a Chen. Aether Lens, so <clears> now it's the damage increase as well onto the Flame Break and with the Sticky and everything, so. Sindarin's probably expecting that Forev has Lasso, so he's yeah, he's not even gonna try to like break even puppy was there anyway. Which he currently is not, which is a bit concerning right now, because Aaron looks like he's gonna die. Yeah, I think so too. Dagger. Spin, still there. Is mid one gonna help out or when's he gonna jump first? There we go. He doesn't even It did not be he didn't even need to right click, he just throws out a couple of daggers and Slaughter dies. They didn't even need to Well they they did only punch. Okay. Yeah, and they also got Puppy in the meantime, but... Well, the Beastmaster died for that. Rotan. Yep. Uh, it's still going very well for them in terms of, uh, in terms of escape gaming. They do finally have that Blink Dagger on the Slaughter. So later, and then with the, um, little Charmer just, and the healing ward keeps them at full health. Hello, Roar! Bye! Puppy, Sunstrike? No. 
No, he still gets the kill though. He's not a oh, maybe this is a Thousand Strike kill. Oh, it is! Bang! And he just got the Agony Scepter, so wicked sick on Koik, but Agony Scepter can actually blink. They yeah, got put on cooldown, but tower nonetheless. It seems like Escape Gaming, they they got their blink. This is this is their timing. They need to go now. They blink in, they crush it, popping again, and they find the Sun Strike as well. Axis fly through, cold snap. Puppy's taking quite a bit of damage, but I think he should be okay for the moment. In the meantime, dagger's flying forward, and that is Phantom Assassin. Get the kill on the Invoker now. Oh, oh that was not a crush. I mean, that guy might have used the time of God, but it doesn't matter whatsoever. Wait, where did he? Probably instantly. He can't really. Alright, he has an Aegis. Do you really want to fight it to an Aegis, guys? They're going for it. That's it, one. That's right there. In the meantime, Roar up on the bad rider, but there's no real follow up. Mid one still stepping forward. Knows his mate. Just knows he's fine. Goes for Tezu. Tezu's already picked up. We have a last one coming out on the Dazzle. That means that there's no more Cinder in this fight because he just dies. Then the rest of Escape Gaming already decided, well, this is not the fight where they want to be, but they have to be there because they can only slash and kill. At least that's the game for Yasuo. I don't know, they tried to defend that into an Aegis, like you were mentioning. I think that it was over-eager to go for it, but maybe they just felt forced to, and Koik, but get the Sun Strike on Pi! What?! Oh. They know that there is someone behind Pi, perhaps? But maybe they're not too focused on that bottom lane, not thinking that there would be someone in mid lane, and that was definitely uh, on Yetzer's mind, so... Bye bye, Yetzer. <coughs> Yetzer He's got the blank, TP out. Era should also be able to TP out as well. Doesn't have a oh, it's on though. cooldown still. Oh no! Oh, oh they're on the flash and he dies. Yeah. He just stands there, accepts his fate. <clears throat> the meantime in the mid lane, there's some pressure coming out from Kazu. Pick to get their own, get their own gem and take out some of the wards since it seems like they feel like they're being evaded a little bit too well by the game. Yeah. Oh. Gotta turn right. Oh, Era's gonna run right into them. Hello. Uh oh. And that is uh, it. He's already dead far <laughs> Should be. That mm, is very far know. away. So he's teleporting out. He's teleporting back to base. And they're in the lines anyway. Oh, can they find Koikpa? Koikpa's already teleported out. But Kezu, Kezu's still though, here. Still cool down. And that's the gem. That's Ooh. the gem. And he cannot get out. He does not get away. Hello. Bye. And they take the gem. Puppy's like, thank you. The wolf in this game. It's the only one that can make stuff happen on the map. He's sun striking, you know, he's just, just like, Alright, I'm gonna farm this ancient camp, and uh, hopefully you guys can send me up some sun oh, that was, uh, that was Sindarin. That was Sindarin? Fortify available. And they will use it. Quickfire also made it back to base. It comes the lasso, it actually catches Quickfire as well. If they can kill him before anything else, they do, and he does not five, but no, he will come back in just a second. But Kezu, who also died, does not have five back in the meantime. In the backhand, Yastro is getting saved, got the grave up, got the ghost scepter up, the Omni Slash still up as well. They can still go for it if they really want to. So disciplined by Secret though. Instantly when Quake for buybacks, they're like, alright, reset, let them. Step forward, almost Omni Slash. You force them to the lower as well, you really want to get Omni Slash out, he gets the grave off those Cinder and he also gets sent back to base by Yastro, but Yastro will pay for that one. Blade Fury will go through the Ghost Scepter and they get the kill. Now Quayfi already died from my back, but back once. They're not a force to die now. Tornado just slowing things down. They share the damage of the Sun Strike. So. Healing Ward's gonna be up again in a second now too, so they can just reset the... Reset, full heal, and yeah. probably go for even another set of racks pretty easily here. This should just be actually the game here for Secret. Um, bottom lane is pushing out very far in favor of Escape Gaming, and perhaps Secret's gonna be as disciplined as to say just... You know, mind actually this uh, this entire qualifier. I want to say. Yeah, this is like one of the uh oh, Koikpa. Koikpa. Oh, they break it right away. And the crits, and that's a dieback. As in, he already bought back. Doesn't have that available anymore. And the Absorb cannot teleport out because the Lich Ultimate came into play. Mid one beyond Godlike. There's a uh, era trying something. The three players still, but. I mean, split push, yeah, okay, thank you. Split pushing Stardar is not really where you want to be at. GG's called Escape Gaming, they drop to 2 and 4? 2 and 4, so that's. They have to win all their games now, pretty much, in order to even have a chance to be in the top 4. Yeah, and then and then even that is not entirely up to them. I yeah, think. their fate is. Once you have those 4 losses, I think your fate's not in your hands anymore, but yeah. you need to.